Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tess. If you are new, we are going to do a Halloween decor haul and let's just jump right into it. What is today? Today is October 2nd. Perfect day for a Halloween decor haul. I did buy a lot of stuff in September and then I also went out today. I knew it was going to be like slim pickings by today. It was the perfect October day because it was chilly. It was cold and it was like drizzling all day, like very spooky vibes, which we love. So perfect day for that. So let's just jump right in and let me show you guys what all I got. Okay, so this I picked up from Home Goods. You obviously put candles in here. And I just think it's so cute. So my theme is very like black and white. Yeah, it's all black and white. Um, and okay so I did buy a house I actually closed at the end of July and I've spent the last two months totally renovating it I am in it right now and I've just recently started staying here because I mean I redid like all the floors countertops anyways I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming on that because I did try and film everything for you guys all the before and after and I'm gonna break down like how much money I spent on everything so stay tuned for that but my point in telling you that is my place is very, very neutral, white, but not like, not like super contemporary like you're probably thinking. You'll just have to see. But I just, I know I love like black and white in the space as decor, Halloween decor. And I love like orange. It's so cute. But I just know once I put like a big thing of orange in my living room or my kitchen, I'm gonna be like, ugh. You know what I mean? Like, I still love it, but for me right now in my space, since it's very new and neutral, like, I want to keep it black and white, if that makes any sense. So, I got this. Very cute. I also got this little guy. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about him, but I needed more than just pumpkins because I was about to end up with all just black and white pumpkins. So, I got this little ghost guy that's dressed like a witch. I would love to find a really, really cool, like, witch and I love like purple. Okay, I would like hints of purple because I love purple for Halloween. Once again, I mainly stuck to black and white. But he's cute. He'll, he'll fit right in with the rest of the decor. Okay, we need to address something. Like what is it with this whole gnome thing? If you go into Home Goods any time of year, whether it's Easter, whether it's Valentine's, whether it's Halloween, whether it's Christmas, it's like gnomes everywhere gnomes everything I'm gonna put maybe a brief clip in if y'all haven't paid attention pay attention next time whatever holiday it is there's more gnomes than anything else it's like gnomes that are that holiday but I'm just like where did this gnome thing come from and they always have way more of those gnome things left over at the end of the season there's just like so many I'm like okay obviously like Maybe people collect these gnome things, like these holiday gnomes, but they've got more than enough options. Clearly, the people like the items that go with the holiday. Like, can we get more, like, actual holiday stuff and less just the gnome as the holiday? I don't know. It's, I swear it started happening two years ago, and now every season you go into Home Goods, it's just like gnomes. So, yeah, we got our little ghost and those pumpkins. Okay, how cute are these, though? Um, yes. I just, oh my gosh, black and white checkered anything. I'm a sucker. I love. I was so glad I found these. I found these at, at home. And I actually found this guy at TJ Maxx. Um, then I also got this little velvet pumpkin from at home. He was cheap, but I thought he could look cute with these. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this candle. It's not really Halloween, but it will go with the black and white Halloween decor. It is from Urban Outfitters. I just think it's a cool like shape black candles are like something about them i just like them they're you don't see them all the time you know they did have some like regular plain black pillar candles at home okay i really i'm a cat person so i really wanted some sort of black cat decor piece which i don't know i may look i think it was pottery barn had the cutest like black cat pillow i didn't get any pillows spoiler alert I really, there were some that I really wanted, but you know, with this, these holiday things, the problem is you gotta have somewhere to store all this stuff, so I didn't want to go too crazy, and my house is still kind of in shambles, like, I don't even have my regular decor all organized and out yet, 
But Halloween is just so great. I just had to, I had to prioritize Halloween decor. Anyways, so I wanted something black cat. And this is what I picked up. She's also a little pumpkin that you can also put a light in. But I think she's so cute. Once again, I'm telling y'all, I went hard on the pumpkins. Oh, I just need more black cat Halloween decor. That's like my vibe. Okay, I also got these really cute little pajama pants from Marshalls. They're white with these little ghosts. And they're super soft. So fun. Definitely going to wear these all throughout October, obviously. Okay. This is, this was silly, but like I had to for, you know, whenever I have friends or family over in, in um, October. These little napkins say Hocus Pocus. I couldn't help myself. And then these little paper plates. There's not a lot of them. Yeah, only 10, but they have black caps on them. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, that was, that's my pop of color. Um, anyways. Okay. I really like bats. So I got these cool, like, LED white candles with bats. Yeah. Really into that. I really wish I could have found something, like, a really cool witch something, but I didn't. I also got these really cute little mugs from Wayfair. One has a little witch hat, one has a bat. You got a bat flying around. What's this? Oh, you got a witch flying around. Once again, the black and white theme. These are really cute. Definitely don't recommend ordering mugs offline because you walk in to any TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, and they have 800 Halloween mugs. So I don't really know why I did this. Sorry if I keep looking a certain way. I haven't used this camera to film in a long time, so I'm just looking at something. Oh my gosh, how cute are these, y'all? This little kitchen towel set, these black and white stripes with the little ghost. Once again, very much on my theme here. And I wanted to do stuff that was kind of like contemporary feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but then it just has gray ones in the back, which obviously you can never have too many kitchen towels. So I like that those are just gray. And I got this from Marshalls. Oh, and I got this from Home Goods. Yeah, that's where I got these. Okay, more black candles that I'm kind of probably going to use in my decor regularly, but I thought they kind of go with Halloween too. These little black like pillar candles, like bubble pillar candles, I thought those were kind of cool. I actually got these on Pretty Little Thing, super random. And then I got this pumpkin, I thought this was like really different. It's a white pumpkin with these black sparkly bats attached, I thought that was cool sticking to our black and white theme and our bats. Love. Yeah, I'm going into the ghost pumpkin bat black cat with like a cool witch. I guess I don't have a lot of spiders or skulls. You know, no hay. I just haven't been drawn to those. Then I got this guy from Home Goods. Okay, <laughs> he's kind of big. I don't love his huge feet. Like, why are your feet so big, bro? Yeah. But otherwise, he'll, he's really cute, just like standing on the floor. And he's, he's so happy. We love a happy ghost. Oh, then of course, I just got, I forgot, going through all my stuff, going through all my stuff, I found this jar I have. And obviously, I'm going to fill it up with candy corn and candy pumpkins. But, so gross. That's the best thing about candy corn is that you can actually leave it sitting out unless you're one of those people that actually like it. But it's one of the few candies that I don't like so I can leave it sitting out and not eat 10 handfuls every day, you know? We love that. It can actually just be decor. So that's my Halloween items. Hopefully I will film putting the stuff all out. Like I said, my house is still kind of not completely even organized. I'll sh I'm gonna have to show y'all though. I'm gonna show y'all whether it's after or while I'm doing it. We, we have to do it together. Um, I did go to Ulta today. So I'm just gonna show y'all real quick what I got. I got this new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Ultra Blur Setting Powder. It's like not her iconic one that everyone talks about. Ultra Blur. So I'm excited to try this. You know, I just got some makeup remover that I needed. 
this whey leave-in conditioner travel size. I'm going to try. I got some Climax um, NARS mascara. I do really like this mascara for a high end mascara. I don't feel like anyone ever talks about it. Mascara is so personal because it depends on like the type of brush that's best for your eyelashes, I feel like. Hourglass mascara is always on point and Merle Norman's mascaras are on point. Those are two other brands that you cannot be disappointed by. My Tarte one I really don't like. I don't know. I just feel like high mascaras are hit or miss. I also got a Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. I have not tried their concealer. I picked up a Purology Strength Care Shampoo because um, I have tons of purple shampoos but I don't have just like a regular one. And then I also picked up one of my favorite blonde masks, the Redken Color Extend Blondage. I mean, I pretty much only use purple shampoo and conditioner to be honest. And then I got this Clean Babes. Okay, well, it says Clean Babes have the dirtiest thoughts, um, which is actually kind of funny. But it's the Frank Body. You used to could only get his stuff online. I just needed shower gel. Honestly, I'm out. So I got this. It smells really good. But yeah, this is by Frank Body. And then I got me some dry shampoo. So that's it for this little Halloween decor haul.